Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Kmo here. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Tom Segura loves watching the first 48 from his completely normal special. So, I'm ready to laugh. Let's do this. I think completely. God, it's so weird. People this was his first people ask me special. Great, like, I get asked fucking travel advice from strangers. Can we just break down how crazy that is? Like. People come up to me and they're like, hey, you travel a lot, right? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Where should I go? Uh, I don't fucking know you, man. <laughs> you ask travel advice to people who know you intimately. They know you well. They can guide you based on what they know about you. I mean, you don't ask strangers dining advice, right? Because you're like, hey, man, well, where should I eat tonight? I know I've never met you before in my life, but do you think you could give me a recommendation? Uh, yeah, you should try this dim sum place. And but then that person might go, oh, I hate the Asian world. And you're like, oh shit, I didn't know that about you. Like, yeah, I killed like four of them. Like, what are you, like a serial killer or something? Yeah. Now you're in an awkward conversation with a serial killer. Here's all I'm saying. I can't tell you where to go. I can tell you where not to go. Wherever they film the first 48 on A&E. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with the show, here's what it is. Camera crews follow real homicide detectives for the first 48 hours after a murder. And the reason that that time distinction is so important is that after 48 hours, uh, they give up on that murder. <laughs> They're like, that's some old shit. What do you want to do today? <laughs> You're like, how about you keep trying to solve that murder, man? That shit happened on Monday. It's Wednesday. We're not going to solve that shit. <laughs> really? There are so many amazing moments on that show. So many. A lot of the episodes take a similar path. I'm blown away, first of all, at how many times there's a witness to a murder. It's crazy. I always thought murders happened in dark alleys. Nobody saw shit. No. Every other episode, they're like, you see that shit? And the guy's like, I saw that shit, yeah. <laughs> Where? Right fucking here. <laughs> really, I was standing here, and then he killed that dude there. <laughs> <Yeah. Wow. laughs> what he look like? He was like 5'2 uh, to 6'8, something like that. And they're like, that's the fucking description you're gonna give us? Anything else about him? Yeah, he had ears, too. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. They still will sketch that shit out. <laughs> and they show it to people. Do you know this guy? And everyone's like, nah. But then one guy will be like, yeah! That's Cricket right there! You're like, oh, shit. You know him? I've been knowing Cricket 27 years! What's his real name? Man, that's just Cricket. I don't even know. Stop being white and weird. That's a perfect fucking impression, and you know exactly who that was, okay? Yeah, it's a black guy, and he's wearing a wife beater, and he's got on a dirty hat, and he's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And he looks like he's about 33, but you find out he's 76 years old. And he speaks super aggressively to the cops. I've been out here for a minute! And they're like, all right, all right, Jesus Christ. When was the last time you saw him? He came through with jellyfish last week. <laughs> he was looking for some smoke. And they're like, all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they always cut to the whitest detective from that guy, too. They cut from that guy to the guy who's like, I don't think he's going to help us out. <laughs> We're going to have to find Cricket on our own. <laughs> that show has the best moment in television. It's the most dramatic thing you could ever see because it's real life, and that is the interrogation. The interrogation is amazing because here's the thing about drama. If you want to have a great dramatic moment, raise the stakes. Guess what? There's no higher stakes than somebody being questioned about taking somebody else's life. It's inherently compelling television. It is also super serious, but the detectives insist on using the suspect's street name so the whole thing turns into a fucking cartoon. Like, 
they're literally like, your life is on the line. We need to talk to you. Why don't you have a seat, uh, little stank? Why don't you sit down for a second? <laughs> did you or did you not know Dookie Shoes? <laughs> I don't know no Dookie Shoes. <laughs> I got a picture of you hanging out with Dookie Shoes. <laughs> I mean, I seen them. <laughs> I don't know. And then they'll throw one bit of evidence against the wall, hoping it'll solve the case. They'll be like, well, we were talking to uh, Naamin, and he said that you were at the 7-Eleven last week. And he'll be like, yeah, I shot him in the face. And you're like, God damn, really? That's all it took to break you? Dude, lie. Lie for longer. You can kill somebody, you can't lie for 10 fucking minutes about it? Seriously. Like, dudes will break on anything. They'll be like, we heard you had on a blue shirt last Friday. Yeah, I stabbed those four people. <laughs> Dude, a lot of people have blue shirts, man. You can still get out of this. Here's what I've learned watching that show, okay? Lawyer up. You can't handle that shit. Everybody's like, I'm going to talk to the cops and straighten this whole thing out. You're going to do 25 to life. Have fun with that, man. <laughs> Nobody asked for a lawyer. I've seen 300 people get interrogated on this show. Two of them were like, I talked to a lawyer? And both times the detectives were like, fuck! <laughs> and then at the end of those episodes that said on the screen, all charges against Tayshawn were dropped. <laughs> or Jim, pick a fucking name. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's no Jims on the show. I've seen every episode. And none start with, hey, Bryce, can we talk to you for a second, man? Where were you last Friday? I was over at Tanner's house. And then Skylar had a party, so we went over there. And then we picked up Connor and we had pancakes. I was thinking of Connor. Sorry, bro. The detective, bro, bro. All right, guys, uh, that was it. Again, that was uh, Tom Segura loves watching the first 48 from his uh, completely normal special. I believe that's his first special on Netflix right now. So uh, I'm going to have to check the whole thing out. If you guys have any other uh, clips you'd like me to react to, any Tom Segura clips, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you guys could please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. I appreciate it. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Later.